Hi everyone, I'm Sorry My Brahim and over the last two decades of being an entertainer, I've picked up quite a few tips on how to appear more confident even when you're not feeling it in front of the camera. So today I'd like to share some of my tips and my journey. When I was a young graduate, confident communication was you had to show up face to face. If you wanted a job, you've got to be there. You've got to be physically present and you've got to show that confidence physically. Nowadays, there's like a split because there's a lot of things that happen online. So interviews happen online, things are more digital. So there's a slight disconnect. So even if you're super confident, sometimes it doesn't come across on screen because not everybody's confident in sc on the screen as they are in person. It's almost like young graduates today have a bigger challenge because they have to learn how to be confident in person and they also have to learn how to be confident on screen. It's completely different talking to people on a Zoom call, right? Than talking to them in person. So I think that's a very big challenge for young graduates today. So props to all of you who are trying your best. Confident communication now, I, I would say, would be um, knowing who you are and what you want so that whether you're communicating in person or you're communicating digitally, at least you get your, your, your points concise direct and at the same time you can show your personality because that's what's missing the most right now the personality aspect and it's not easy on camera I understand <laughs> Banyak orang cakap dia garang. Sebenarnya memang dia garang. Suka lah interview you. Macam-macam tu jawapan. Ini dah lagi. A confident person is somebody who has passion for what they're talking about. Number one. And number two, they have the knowledge about what they're talking about. Because if you lack either of these, the confidence is questionable. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of talk, but not really with the content, not really the knowledge. And then there's some people out there who have a lot of knowledge, that be like boring, just like you can be watching them, you're like, I'm dying listening to this. You know what I mean? So you need to have both. So, so you've got to have that personality, the passion, the drive. You know, if you look at all the, the leaders, you know, whether you're talking about Mark Zuckerberg or you're talking about whoever, Bill Gates, there's that passion in what they they talk about and anyone actually, even David Attenborough. I mean, look at how he speaks. He's got so much passion for a small little worm and knowledge though to back it up. So I think these are the most important things you need to have. Um, the confidence will come across with the passion and the other 50% is the knowledge. The worst thing is talking to somebody and they don't know what they're talking about. That, that just makes you kind of cringe, and like, you, know? you know. Plan my schedule, plan what I want it next, and then really go for it one at a time. You can't just sort of sit back and go, hey, you know, I'm checking out for two months. I'm going to eat what I want to eat and just not think about my, my health. Because so day to day, you can do things for yourself, like um, make a schedule. You have to have a day-to-day -day schedule. You can't wake up and be like, mm, let's see what happens today. I think if you want to increase your confidence, you need to have benchmarks every day. So, like, it doesn't matter what it is today. Like, today, I'm going to uh, go to the gym and I'm going to work out for 20 minutes, uh, like that. So you can get some endorphins, boost your happy hormones, okay? Because with happy hormones, when you feel good in your body, then it's a bit easier to, to have confidence talking to people because you're so much, look at me, I look good, you know, my body's good, I feel good, people think I'm so hot, then senang sikit lah. I mean, if you wake up and you're sluggish and you're like, oh, I feel so useless, susah, you know, when you face someone at work, couple, you'll be like, what's up? You'll be like, what's so That's not good. Boost your own happy hormones, get to the gym, take care of your physical health. I believe in that. Take care of your body first if you want to feel confident. Then, when you feel confident in yourself, Tak ada gunanya juga like you shot sendiri like I'm so amazing tapi tak ada benda kosong je nak cakap so when you meet people you need to know what you're talking about Confidence comes from the social interactions that you have. So day to day, janganlah pergi hang out dengan yang negatif je. Like if you hang out with friends and colleagues who are like 
everything's horrible, life is crap, then you akan terikut juga lah. So you have a tendency to follow those who you're close to. You know, birds of a feather flock together. So you want to be part of the birds that are flourishing, good. So then you will feel more confident because you feel like, I found my tribe, you know, they understand me and, and that will help you. And then you have a tribe of people who know you and then they can advise you too with the life decisions that you're making. So itu, itu like macam grander scale of things, okay? It is Merdeka weekend. It is a fun time for all. Bring your family down. Bring your grandmothers, your grandmother's grandmother, your children, your husband, your wife, whoever you have. In a smaller scale, a lot of people say, "Can I practice in front of the camera?" And all. I don't. I don't agree with that. I never practiced in front of a camera in my life or in front of a mirror. What I did was, I just read what I needed to read if there was a show or an exam, and I just spoke to myself and I would ask myself the questions like okay sorry ma this biocycle social question apa jawapan dia talk to yourself give yourself the information back and then you tanya benda ni macam logic ke did i understand the answer because if you understand it somebody else will understand it oh my god we're going to book it in 5 4 3 2 azan yes tu tak pernah macam makan rupanya belum buka lagi apa nak tu benar over. Wrong timing. I can Ireland, Ireland and Johor, so I go to Ireland sometimes. So another thing you can do to be more confident besides, you know, take care of your physical health, have a good tribe around you is how you present yourself. Dressing and whatnot. Some people like to dress ikut apa trend je, but they don't really feel it. So bila pakai, rasa macam jangga, like this isn't me. So I always say dress according to what makes you feel confident, you know, don't try to be somebody you're not. So. Just find your style, find your tribe, keep your body healthy and that is a good beginning for feeling confident.